We're here with Emory head track and field coach John Curtin. And coach, a huge weekend for the Eagles. The women came away with the UA championship. Talk a little bit about that experience down there with the team. It was just a great time for the kids. Uh, they really came through in a big way. I was real excited for all of them. Uh, you know, we got off to a real good start on Saturday, and uh, and they really finished it off well uh, in the finals on Sunday. I think we, we advanced twice as many people to the uh, final side of the prelims as any of the other schools. And our, I think our sprinters and jumpers were really the backbone for us. They did a great job uh, really setting the table, and then we scored some points in the throws, which usually don't happen for us, and we came through with enough in the distance events to to put us over the top. It was a, it was a great step for our kids. We haven't uh, been a real strong indoor team in the past. We, you know, we don't really have a strong opportunity to compete indoors down here, but uh, it was really, really fun for us to get that. Well, talk a little bit about the women's sprinters because they really had a fantastic meet. They swept the 200, really, in all the events. They were uh, really having a fantastic meet for you guys. They, they, they did the job in a big, big way. Um, you know, Alex Dyer is kind of our veteran, kind of leading the way, won the quarter for us, came back, got second in the 200. Uh, Alicia Adams just was a real good feel-good story this weekend. Kid didn't even make this trip a year ago. Uh, comes through and leads us in the 200. Uh, Kaylee Leonard, who was injured last year during our outdoor championship UAA meet and uh, got to be there and be ready and contributed a great deal for us this year, finishing second in a quarter, anchoring our 4x4 four four to a victory. So without a doubt, our sprinters uh, were, were the key uh, performers for us this weekend. But what was really great is, is that we only won four events. So it was people chipping in with, with points across the board that, that really uh, made it a great victory for us. Now let's take a quick look at the men's side as well. Our men finished third. Really a fantastic finish for them as well. A championship uh, in the triple jump for Ian Francis. Talk a little bit about the men's side and you know what went well over there. Our, our guys did a great job. I, I think our guys may have even surpassed uh, the women. We, we felt going in that the women had a good shot to win. Uh, but our guys, we had so many young kids. Uh, we didn't really know what to expect. But they came through in a big way. Um, finishing third in a very competitive conference. Uh, Ian, uh, there was some little controversy in the long jump the first day. It kind of lot, kind of uh, cost him a place or two, but uh, he came back and channeled that energy with a big triple jump. Uh, you know, hopefully we're going to get him into the national championships in that event. Um, across the board, we had uh, again guys contributing in every way. Uh, that's one of the things I love about our guys team is that it's a total team. You know, we aren't just a sprint group, we aren't just a distance group or, or field group. We've got, we've got uh, kids contributing all, all across the board. So third for the guys was a positive and I think you know, it bodes well for us going into the outdoor season. Now let's talk real quick about the last two weeks of the season coming up here. Obviously the NCAA championships and hoping to qualify some people. What's the plan going forward for the next two weeks of indoor season? Well, we, we, it's planes, trains, automobiles. Again, uh, we've got kids going all over the place. Brad Parente leaves today for a pentathlon and Christopher Newport. And we've got some kids competing at Clemson and straightaway, straightaway dashes. And then uh, Friday we'll be at North Central with our 4x4, four four, some of our jumpers. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to do the best we can to get all these kids that are sitting provisional or close to provisional to the national championships up in Ohio uh, later on in this month. Okay, Coach, well, thanks a lot for everything, and we'll uh, catch up with you before nationals and before the outdoor season. Thanks again, and congrats on a big weekend. Thanks, Jim.